despite their fierce reputation vikings may not have always been the plunderers and pillagers uh, popular culture imagines them to be so they were not always plundering and pillaging pillaging is to like raid a city and then take all the resources and everything from there right in fact they got their start trading so now you know what the passage is going to talk about the popular image is that we think of vikings as this violent people who come and who raid a village and then take everything from it but they actually got their start trading in northern european markets such as such as so why and how is this theory come about is what we are going to be discussing in the passage combs carved from animal antlers as well as comb manufacturing waste and raw antler material has turned up as three archaeological sites in denmark including a medieval marketplace in the city of ribe so suddenly we've shifted to talk about combs there has to be some relationship because we are talking about archaeological sites and we are talking about vikings of the past so there is going to be some relationship some tie back to why the vikings were traders so wait for it to happen um don't question too much so we all we know is combs were found in certain places including a medieval marketplace a team of researchers from denmark and the uk hoped to identify the species of animal to which the antlers once belonged by analyzing collagen proteins in the samples and comparing them across the animal kingdom so they took the collagen proteins collagen proteins are found in the skin and in the connecting tissues and things like that which you didn't need to know they took some protein and then they compared it across the animal kingdom to see which animal species it matched laura gegel reports for life science i would just say, make a note of laura gegel but it also says that she reported it for life science which means she is not the scientist involved here and therefore it is unlikely that she has an opinion on it and if it's unlikely that she has an opinion on it it is unlikely that there is a question on it so it may not matter for you to know what she is saying she is just reporting information found by some archaeologists sorry some uh, researchers from denmark and the uk Somewhat surprisingly, molecular analysis of the artifacts revealed that some combs and other material had been carved from reindeer antlers. So they identified it was reindeer, and that was surprising. Why was it surprising? Given that reindeer don't—that's the scientific name for it—don't live in Denmark. So they found this in Denmark, but there are no reindeer in Denmark. The scientists posit, posit is to suggest or make a theory that it arrived on Viking ships from Norway. So they found. the antlers came from reindeer there are no reindeer in denmark which means the antlers and the reindeer came from norway which means it came via the vikings this is the whole point of the discussion here <clears throat> antler craftsmanship in the form of decorative combs was part of viking culture so that's a second reason to believe it one there were no antlers reindeer antlers in uh, denmark second comb manufacturing was a thing in viking culture such combs served as symbols of good health gegel writes the fact that the animals shed their antlers also made them easy to collect from the large herds that inhabited norway so there are large herds of reindeer they naturally shed their antlers so it becomes easier to just collect them and make combs so all of this is supporting why the viking were traders since the artifacts were found in marketplace areas at each side so they were all found in marketplaces it's more likely that the norsemen came to trade rather than pillage so they did bring the combs with them but then all of them were found in marketplaces which means they were trading rather than pillaging most of the artifacts also date to the 780s but some are as old as 725 okay that predates predates is before that is before the beginning of viking raids on great britain by about 70 years so when you thought that th- there is a information there <coughs> traditionally the so called viking age began with these raids in 793 we thought initially that the vikings came only in 793 but some of these artifacts are as old as 725 which means they came before the raids archaeologists had suspected that the vikings had experience with long maritime voyages that might have preceded their raiding days so there was a theory earlier itself they might have traveled before the raids beyond norway these combs would have been a popular industry in scandinavia as well 
it's possible that the antler combs represent a larger trade network where the Norsemen, which is another word for Vikings, supplied raw material to craftsmen in Denmark and elsewhere. So the whole point of this comb discussion is to establish that the Vikings came to um, Europe to trade and not just to pillage. So there is a lot of information that they are giving there in terms of uh, the the f- place in which it was found. It was found in marketplaces. It was found way before the raid started. There is existing theory and suspicion that they had had experience with maritime voyages. So the whole point of the passage is to say, maybe the Vikings were traders as well and not just plunderers. <clears throat> And let's look at the questions. The primary purpose of the passage is just what we talked about. Maybe the Vikings were traders as well. They were not just plunderers. Let's see which of the options best captures that. To explain the presence of reindeer antler combs in Denmark, we are doing that. But the point of the passage is not to explain the presence. We are using this as support. To say that the Vikings, the first sentence, they got their start trading in northern European markets. In the first paragraph, that's the point. That's what we're trying to support here. To contradict the widely accepted beginning date for the Viking Age and propose an alternate one, he is not proposing an alternate one. He is not saying that the beginning date is wrong for the Viking Age. Usually an age is the period of strength. So maybe the period of strength was still the 1795s to whatever. (coughs) Excuse me. But their presence was before the Viking Age. That's what we are trying to say. To challenge the popular perception of Vikings as raiders by using evidence that suggests their early trade relations. Yes, they are not just raiders. They had trade relations. This is definitely something we are trying to establish in the passage. To argue that besides being violent pillagers, uh, Vikings were also skilled craftsmen and efficient traders. Skilled craftsmen, no one said the combs were awesome. And efficient traders, no one said they made a lot of money. So you're just adding these adjectives here about being skilled and efficient. And uh, that's not what we're trying to argue here. We're just arguing with the traders, period. Not efficient traders. Um, which means the best option here would be C. <clears throat> the evidence. Most of the artifacts also date to the 780s, but some are as old as 725. Has been used in the passage to argue that. So when you see a quote from the passage, go and read the surrounding sentences to see why he's saying that. If you go back to the passage, he says most of the artifacts, the sentence, and then the next sentence is, that predates the beginning of Viking raids on Great Britain by about 70 years. Archaeologists had suspected that the Vikings had experience with long maritime voyages that might have preceded their raiding days. So the whole point is to say, They came to Europe, they had experienced voyages even before they started the raids, right? That's what you're trying to say in the next couple of sentences after bringing up the year. So the beginning date of the Viking Age, the author of the questions is obsessed with the beginning date of the Viking Age. He's not proposing a new one. No one is saying it has to be revised. We're just saying they traveled. The Viking raids started as early as 725. No, they were not raiding in 725. They were trading in 725. So these two options are definitely out. Some of the antler artifacts found in Denmark and Great Britain could have come from Scandinavia. Um, That's not the point of the argument here. It's not to say they could have come from Scandinavia. We have established that it did come from Scandinavia by talking about the fact that it was reindeer antlers and there were no reindeer in Denmark at that point. So it's not, um, we're not saying, this. the point is, the date of the, the point of, my tongue, I'm having trouble forming words apparently. All right, the point of mentioning the dates is not to mention where it came from. We're talking about dates to see when what happened. When you say that it was reindeer antlers and then the collagen proteins and all of that, that was to establish that it came from Scandinavia, not the date discussion. Right. I finally got what I wanted to say out. The Viking trade relations with Europe predates the Viking dates. Absolutely. That is so straightforward. They came before they started raiding. That's all that we are trying to establish here. And that is the answer. The simplest answer that doesn't add any, um, any extra words 
that doesn't change the tone of the passage, that is always the right answer. All of the following hold true for Vikings except our last question of the day. Except question, process of elimination, we want three true options. Vikings brought reindeer from Norway to Denmark for trade purposes. Okay, first off, did they trade reindeer or did they trade antlers and combs made out of antlers? I'm going to hold on to A. I, uh, will, I don't see any reference in the passage that they actually transported reindeers in their ships. Before becoming the raiders of Northern Europe, Vikings had trade relations with European nations. That is the point of the passage, 100% true. Antler combs regarded by the Vikings as a symbol of good health, that is mentioned in the passage, were part of the Viking culture. That is a direct quote almost from the last but one sentence of the first paragraph. So, um, sorry, from the second paragraph, that is absolutely true as well. Vikings once upon a time had trade relations with Denmark and Scandinavia. B and D are the same thing, absolutely true. We know they traded combs that they carved out of antlers. Did they bring the reindeer itself? There is no such mention in the passage and that is why A is your answer. Alright, I'm going to take a minute. See if you have any questions. If not, we're wrapping this up. Alright, so there's a question about why we cannot say that the Viking Age or raid started in um, 725. I'll address the raid point. The raid point is to attack people and to take their stuff without them giving it up, right? Like, that's a raid. Um, and we are trying to establish the whole point of the passage is to say that they were trading in marketplaces. And if they're trading in marketplaces, then you're trying to say that they were traders. They were not raiding. And therefore, you cannot say that the raid started in 725. There is nothing in the passage to indicate that they attacked Denmark in 725. They traded with Denmark in 725. With regard to why Viking Age, that kind of stems from what you classify as an age. When um, something is at its best, you call it the age. They traded in 725, but were they at their best in 725? We do not know. That has not been discussed in the passage. For you to classify the Viking Age as starting from a particular point in time, you have to talk about how the Vikings were at their best, how they were awesome, and how they were influencing cultures, whether by force or because of their, um, I don't know, amazingness, <laughs> right? Um, you have to explain why they were at their peak. Then you call it an age. And that is not a discussion in the passage. We have not gone into those details. And that is why revision of the Viking Age beginning date is not within the scope of the passage. You need more information on that. There has to be further proof given to establish that. <music>